Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, this is gonna be a really short, very raw, unedited na video. I'm not gonna edit this, so it's as is. Pero I really just wanted to share like the first few days of my law school life because I know that a lot of you will be, well, not, pero madame of you will be starting law school in a few weeks, days. I'm not sure when's the first day gonna be, pero kasi ako personally, I'm not gonna go to law school anymore. As you all know, I've already graduated um, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks. June 22. Yun. Ay, ah, June 22? Yeah, June 22. Ah! Anyways, yun. Um, tapos, so I was parang kanin-kanina lang, I was reminiscing about yung first few days ko in law school. Parang very fresh pa naman sa akin yung memory kasi five years ago lang naman yun. And now, ito na, preparing for the bar. Anyways, um, naalala ko nun, um, like, kasi before the law school classes even started, UST, sa UST, we had yung parang, parang, semi para orientation a few days of that yung parang may mga activities sila, sila to for you to get to know yung mga classmates mo parang you first thing that happened i think was na pulong-pulong nagsama-sama nag yung mga per class and then after that yon you parang getting to know each other yeah whatever so before the class even started may idea ka na who your classmates are gonna be um, actually, during that time, I wasn't really, I mean, kapag ako kasi, when I, I, bago ko sa isang bagay, I am not as kulit or active as I am naturally. Kasi, I tend to, parang testing the waters muna, parang mag-observe, I try to observe first my environment, like, who are the quiet ones, tapos parang, I just want to observe. I don't wanna, parang, put myself out there agad. Gusto ko malaman yung mga tao around me. So, yun, parang tahimik lang ako nun. Actually, when we, when my friends and I talk about it, parang, they describe me as parang, ma masungit daw, ganyan. Tapos parang, may sarili akong mundo. Which, to be honest, yeah, on, ganun talaga ako. Hindi ko, ayokong, parang magulo ko agad. Ayoko nung ganun. Tapos, eh, actually, napansin ko nun, um, a lot of the people there, some, actually, maingay na. As in, like, ang, ang loud. Very loud. Sobrang annoying. Parang, basta naisip ko sa sarili ko. Actually, but that's what my sister then told me before entering law school na, do not be too loud. Yung ganun. Parang, basta maging, parang keep a low profile, which I have mentioned, I think, in my very first law school tips video. Na yun, tahimik lang ako. Tapos, syempre, if someone would talk to me, I would talk to that person. And the first person I think that I talked to was Quinn, Quinn Gamboa. And Quinn is still my friend up to now. One of, still one of my close friends up to now. So, yun. Um, basta before, si Quinn lang and si Bell yung kausap ko nun. Pero other than them, wala na. Kasi parang iiretan na ako sa ibang mga tao. Kasi ang iingay talaga nila. It's really annoying for me to hear really boisterous laughters, pagkatapos, parang, ayun ko, basta ganun. Anyways, um, actually, dun sa first few days, nung, um, well, most of the days na may orientation stuff before the law school proper started, ano, um, I was not able to attend most of the events, kasi, during that time, I was also preparing for the board exams in, Parang June ba? Or July? July ata yung board exams namin nun. Oh, July 2 and 3, I think. Tapos, um, so yun. Uh, the first day, actually, nung parang orientation, parang siningit ko lang, umalis lang ako sa review for a while. Kasi, I, w I studied in USD din. So, same same campus, pero different building lang. So, I just checked out ko anong ginagawa nila during the orientation, ganyan. Tapos, Nung mga games, games, and activities, hindi ako nakasali doon. I wasn't able to join them. Pero, after that, nung, nung tapos na yung uh, review classes ko sa US uh, Nursing, USD Nursing, um, tapos magsa-start na talaga yung, um, 
para law school proper sa UST din, um, I attended na. Yun yung feeling ko, very important to attend kung if ever your school is offering that. They give you um, an idea of law school life if, of course, you have no idea. Kasi parang, wala naman kasi akong nakakausap pang iba um, maliban sa sister ko and sa brother-in-law ko na parang nakukuha. And sa cousin ko, kay Kuya Chino, na nakuha ko na idea about sa law school. Ganyan, kung paano bang law school and stuff. And um, sa knowledge ko, wala naman akong alam na parang Kunari, yung channel ko ngayon, wala ako napapanood na gano'n, wala ako idea. So, parang, kung ano lang yung naririnig ko from my sister and, yun, people I know. Uh, so, yun. Tapos, ang kagandahan nga doon sa orientation na yun, doon sa, kasi very organized yun eh. Um, meron, parang, tuturuan kayo how to digest cases. Alam ko noon si Attorney Dalio sa one day asked us to digest, digest parang three cases para lang magka-idea kami how to digest cases para on the start na talaga ng law school, sa start, may idea ka na. Alam mo yun, alam mo na. Kahit na hindi pa ganun ka solid yung yung background mo, at least may idea ka na. For those who graduated sa legal management, ganun, Paul Sai, I think then meron na silang background doon kasi parang nag-case digest na sila even before. Pero, in my case, nursing background, hello, wala ko idea. Pero, the one who taught me how to digest cases was Kuya Gino, um, my cousin, na parang he taught me yung mga kailangan mo talagang foundation and basic knowledge about digesting cases. Like, um, pagdating sa names, most of the time, you do not really have to be particular. Parang, kunwari, there's a name, uh, let's say, Juan de la Cruz. Uh, you don't have to really remember the entire name. You can say, parang a certain de la Cruz, parang ganon. Para hindi na, kasi parang kakainin na lang space ng utak mo lahat ng mga ibang information na hindi naman talaga kailangan. So, yun. Ano pa ba? Yun. First few days, yun lang, naalala ko lang. Tapos, parang for me din, yung first two weeks ko in law school, ay yung, um, before even starting law school, I was quite, parang nakakaba din for me kasi um, I was preparing for the board exams in July. Tapos so parang natatakot ako, what if may mag-suffer like yung board exams or yung law school. And thank God, feeling ko, wala namang nag-suffer kasi kapag nga mas nasistress ka, pag parang mas kailangan mong mag-focus sa kung anong kailangan mong gawin, mas nagagawa mo ng maayos. Kaya, feel ko din na yung mga working students, actually, ang galing nila, magagaling mga working students. Ang kagandahan kasi, is na ma-manage nila yung oras nila ng maayos talaga. Parang alam nila sa sarili nila na wala na silang time. Parang, Basta kung anong mabigay, merong time sila, nagagamit nila ng maayos. So, actually, nung graduation nga naman, I think that um, more than 80% of the, yung, or 90% siguro, nung nasa top 10 namin, mga working students, ang galing, magaling talaga kasi sila. So, don't be disheartened na kailangan na working ka, na mas, ano, um, na may hirapan ka, use it to your advantage kasi naniniwala ako na, yun nga, sila pa lang eh, example na, na 80 to 90% ng mga top 10 namin, uh, working students, so, ano, magaling, use, use it to your advantage lang talaga, yun yung importante. Tapos, ano pa ba, um, first few weeks, siguro, first two weeks, yun yung pinaka-adjusting period ko, um, para sa mga graduate ng legal management, I think, and yung mga, may idea na sila sa law courses, parang less um, adjustments yung ginagawa nila. Pero kung kunwari, like me, na science course, yung pre-law mo, don't be disheartened kasi kayang-kaya mo yan. Two weeks, two weeks lang yun. Basta um, focus and do your best. So, kaya mo yan. Alam mo yan, kaya mo yan. And um, good luck sa lahat na magsa-start ng law school. Um... And, um, masingat ko lang din if you are watching sa dulo na din ng video. Um, recently, I had this idea na mag-gumawa ng webinar. Actually, initial na naisip ko is a seminar. Like, I would rent a place dito sa Manila. Pagkatapos, dun ko i-conduct yung parang seminar. It's not really a seminar, pero parang talk lang. Tapos, parang, basta, ganun. Pero, 
uh, Jed suggested na I do a webinar na lang daw. And I think it's a really good idea kasi hindi ko na kailangan na uh, mag-rent ng place din. Tapos, mas accessible sa lahat ng tao. Like, kahit saan man sila nandoon, pwede nilang mapanood na sa Luzon, Visayas o Mindanao ka man. O kahit saan mula, ano, um, a pari hanggang hulo, pwede mong mapanood basta may internet ka. So, um, let me know kung um, if ever magnyari ngayon, do you think you would be interested or do you think may a-attend ba? And kung gagawin ko man siya, ano yung specific topic na gusto niyong i-discuss ko? Kasi I'm um, leaning towards yung sa mga papasok na sa law school this coming school year and yun, yun yung talaga yung nasa idea ko na parang gabay then or something na focus doon, gets? And it's gonna be like a Q&A then, like on the day, yung araw ng webinar, I get to answer questions then. Um, the the thing about it is that I'm gonna be, um, tawag dito, um, I would be parang asking a very minil, minimal amount, very minimal, parang amount din siya, na kunwari, isipin mo kung magkocommute ka lang sa meeting place na yun, ganun lang din yung gasin mo. Definitely, syempre, iniisip ko din naman kasi ni a-attend, yung majority na a-attend na mga possibly col- still college students na wala pang work, ganyan. So, allowance, diba? So, mga siguro 100 pesos. Do you think that's good enough? Or parang, or okay ba yung idea na yun? Ewan ko, wala akong idea. So, I really wanted to ask you guys. So, yun. Um, I'm gonna end today's video. If you have any suggestions on sa nasabi kong webinar and stuff, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And I'll see you again soon, only here on my channel. Bye!